In this video, we'll talk about accessing articles to complete the lab number seven for IST 101. We're currently at the library's database page for the college, and above the architecture, art, and music green bar are hot links that'll drop us down the list of the databases. The general category, I'm gonna click on that one, will take us to the general section of the list. Academic Search Premier, the first one on the list, and ProQuest Central, the last one on the list, Either of these will work well for us for the lab. You may use one or the other or both. I'll demonstrate both of the databases for you a little bit. Academic Search Premier, clicking on the title here will bring us up to the search screen for Academic Search. We have our search box. I'm going to put in my uh, search terms. And we're going to look for computer hacking today. You'll notice the database is offering us some search options, some suggestions. I'm not going to use these today. I'm going to use computer hacking as I entered it with the quotation marks. It's going to lock these two words together and look for the two words as a phrase. Before I click search, though, I want to do a couple extra things. I'm going to limit my results by checking the full text box. I want complete articles I can view, I can print out and such. Also, Lab 7 requires the use of recent information, no more than two years old. And I have an option here to specify a, a date range, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to select 2013 to 2015. Look for that two-year date range of recent information. And now that I filled in the date range, checked full text, I'll execute my search. This brings up my search results for Academic Search Premier. And from here, I can look through the articles, look for a title that looks interesting. This second article I'll use as a quick example because it comes in two full text forms. Some articles, as the one above, comes in only one format. I want to look at both formats. The icon over here, the magnifying glass over the page, if I hover over that, it brings up a pop-up window. And if I scroll down a little bit, we have the abstract. The abstract's a summary of what the article's about. Use this to save yourself some time Decide which articles seem promising from the abstract. Read this. You don't have to read the whole article to see if it's worth your while looking at the article. If you like what you see, move out of that box. I'll click on the title. It'll step me into the article itself. From here, I can scroll down a little bit from all the information about the article. Here's that abstract again. And here's the full text of the article. I can sit here and read it if I wish. I can also use the full text, the PDF full text version over here. If an article is in the PDF version, I need to check or click on this full text option to view it. I'll click on that just to show it to you. The words are the same between each format, kind of my choice which I choose to use. And it's more like a scan of the actual publication when I use the PDF formatted article. Either one is fine to use for the lab. I'll go back a notch here to this format, and I have options here on the side of the screen. I can do things to um, get the information, do the things I need in order to complete the lab. I want to save the article. Here's the save icon here. I'll click on save. It gives me the op a couple options as I get ready to save things. And in here where it says um, citation format. We're using APA formatting, so I want to change it to the APA formatting, and this way I'll have the APA citation saved along with the article. I can click on Save, and it will create a file version here on the screen that looks uh, like this, and from here it's a matter of going up to File and Save Page As, and from here stepping off further to actually save the article. I'm not going to actually save it at this point in time. I'm going to go back to the previous version because I also need that citation information for the purposes of the lab. I can get the citation information directly here. If I click on Cites, it will bring up the options for me in citations. I want to use APA formatting. Here's the APA formatting for the citation. I can highlight it copy it and drop it into a Word document and we'll talk about creating that work site, that references page next time. I want to go back to the database page real quickly and just step into ProQuest Central. A different database company supplies us with this one but the principles are generally the same. I'll put in computer hacking again. I'll ask for full text articles. This database does not give me an option for 
uh, dates as the uh, EBSCOhost database did at the start, but we can fix that once we've executed our search. The magnifying glass will allow me to execute my search. I get my results on the screen. The column here to the left gives me the options to adjust things, and here's the, the date option. Enter a specific date range, clicking on this, will bring up a couple boxes again, 2013, 2015, we'll execute our update, and now all of my results will be in that, that date range, new enough for what I need. Again, I can work my way down the list. The preview icon again over here gives me a pop-up. Again, I get the, the summary of what the article is about, and I can read the, the article here and make decisions whether it's something I wish to use. Clicking on the title again will take me into the article. This article is not in the PDF format. Uh, there will be a link if there is in order to access the PDF format. Work my way down here. Here's the full text of the article. Again, I have options here. I can um, get the citation information. The default is to APA. I don't have to make any changes. I could use this drop down if I had another format I needed to use, but we're using the APA version already. Again, here's my citation. I can copy that and drop it into my Word document. The more options I have here, I can save my research here by clicking on more. It's real easy to save things in the PDF format. It's a good format to use, so I'm going to save it in the PDF form. I'll click on my save here. It gives me again the option, clicking the box will allow me to save the APA formatting as well. And I don't really need a cover page or document numbering or table of contents. I'm going to deselect these. If you don't do it, that's OK, too. It just makes for added pages, particularly if you're printing things out. We don't really need that. I'll click on Continue. It's going to convert things for me into a PDF formatted document. I wish to save the file, so that's what I'm going to do. Click on Save. It's downloading things for me. And if I open up the folder, here's my article. I, it's saved onto my desktop. If you need to save it somewhere else, I can also save it there. Again, I'm going to step back a couple notches, get back to my article. The citation information I showed you, you can access here as well. We'll talk about the um, citation, using it to create your references page in the next video.